Hi everyone, Jack Perkins from the Holden Racing Team here. Today I'm at Banlaw in Newcastle, a manufacturing, production and engineering business in the mining industry. Something I don't know a lot about, but like the Holden Racing Team, they're involved with John Hart Technology and I'm here to see what the business is all about. So I'm here with the production manager of Banlaw, Adam Searle. Nice to meet you, thanks for having us out here today. Yeah, no worries. Tell us about Banlaw in a nutshell. Mate, Benlaw are pioneers in unified fuel management systems. And we distribute it all over the world, America and Asia, and a lot in Europe as well. And, and the parts are designed and manufactured here in-house? All here, right in Newcastle. So Adam, this is sort of where it all starts in engineering shops, isn't it? Either on, on paper or in design. Talk to us about uh, how many staff you've got and what goes on on, on the computer design stuff. Well, there's a range of uh, engineering guys we have here. Uh, we've got electrical, software engineers, mechanical engineers, and project engineers. This is Banlaw's refueling nozzle. Uh, with this unit, we can fill up to a thousand litres a minute, which is pretty hooking. <laughs> it is. Um, the Vhead supercar, I think we pass fuel in at 3.75 litres per second, so it's quite, quite a lot slower. But is this something that will continue to be evolutionised, or is this a part now that's set in stone? This, this is set in stone. This has been our, our flagship product for many years now. We'll, we'll stick with this, but we're always developing new products. There's always call for you know, faster refuelling. All right, well, I'm keen to check out the floor, so we'll, we'll go and have a look at these Mazaks. Yeah, let's do it. So this is where it all happens, mate. Well, Adam, this is the part I really like when we're out here on the floor and we see ideas, designs from the computers and the engineers come out here and become real-time parts, don't they? Tell us a little bit about machines, what, what actually happens down here? Banlaw's been around for about 30 years now. We started off with a Mazak in, I think, 1989, and uh, it was the first Mazak we bought from a VTC mill, and we've just grown from there. I see here straight away there's a couple of parts. What, what would these be, for example? Well, this is actually part of the internals of the uh, fuel nozzle. Yep. This is a piston, piston oh, assembly, it? yeah. How many of them in one hit would be getting made? Mate, we'll, we'll make um, 500, 500 to 600 of those. Yeah. So I've also noticed that uh, all the machines have got little nicknames. Is there yeah. something behind that? Well, we started off because we were scheduling, we got a couple of machines that are the same. We had to come up with a way how to, uh, how to schedule them in. So we come up with some ladies' names and, <laughs> and that's it. It's funny, mate, a lot of V8 supercar drivers name their race cars yeah. after pretty girls, so I think it's pretty cool. It helps you distinguish what machine's what, isn't it? It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> We're up to about eight machines now, and we've just installed a new Integrex with automation. Perfect. Well, I'm really keen to check out this new Mazak Integrex. I know Matthew Plant from John Hart's here, yeah. so let's go and chat to him and have a look at this new machine. Yeah, no worries. Let's cool. go. So Matthew, we're standing here in front of this new Integrex machine. This is what I really love. The, the look at this um, with the robotic arm. Talk yeah. us about the machine and that arm combination. Okay. So um, this is a this is called Cellpro. This is a, a product from John Hart, and it's a pre-engineered machine tending solution. So uh, the system incorporates a robot um, in-feed system and a software to control the robot. We can integrate the Cellpro system into any of the Mazak range of machines. This one is on an Integrex machine tool. Um, which is a five-axis, multi-axis machine tool. Um, we can incorporate to go into lathes and machining centers as well. So it's configurable in the way that we can load it onto any machine tool in uh, the customer's machine park um, and any component the customer wants to load. Uh, in this particular case with Banlaw, um, they're loading a range of different castings, um, so the system can be reconfigured to load those different products. So all the customer does is load in his product, select the product on the touch screen, and uh, select the system and run. It's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, I look at, uh, from what I've learned from Banlaw with the fuel delivery, it's about efficiency, and now with the manufacturing, it's so efficient to have a, a, a sort of self-feeding mechanism here, isn't it? Absolutely. So the system can run unmanned, and we can run for extended periods. So typically these parts that are running here are about a 15 minute cycle per part. So we can run for many hours without them having someone operate the machine tool. So typically you can turn off the lights and head home and come back the next day.
So Adam, we're here in the uh, assembly area and this is where I assume the parts have come from the machines and they're busy getting hand assembled here, is that right? Yeah, that's it. They come up the machines from a casting like this, all machined up and the boys assemble them. There's over 30 components that go into the nozzle to make it actually work and then from here we do go through all our testing procedures, every nozzle's tested, onto the shelf and ready, ready to be shipped out the door. I must admit, I've been really impressed with your setup out here today, so thanks for showing us through and um, look forward to uh, catching up again sometime soon. Yeah, no worries. Thanks Thank for you coming. very much. Cheers. Thanks.